How would you ask Korean students who are working on their portfolio at the moment? Right, okay. If you're working on your portfolio and perhaps you want to do a foundation course, it's quite important to put together not just the final pieces of work, but also your ideas and the process work. So, and that could be in, including sketchbooks, etc. And they may not look neat and tidy, and sometimes Korean students think, I should only show my best work that's not got any writing or rubbing out or whatever. But in fact, for a foundation, we want to know more about how the person thinks and how they got to their final piece of work. So about 15 pieces of work plus some sketchbooks would be really great. Um, they can maybe um, photograph this and upload it to a blog or create a website and then we can see it or indeed send us a CD. And it's very similar as well if somebody's coming for a degree course but obviously the work that they produce really needs to echo the specialist course that they want to do because our courses are very specialist um, and therefore students might be doing illustration as opposed to graphic design. So the work needs to be very illustrative and any work that any description of their work needs to show that that's the subject that they really want to go for. You'd be quite amazed sometimes people put in work which is nothing to do with what they want to study. Um, so to, to make it really clear um, and to show their passion for the subject um, and if they've done some projects which can um, show famous designers in the area that, that they're working for. If they're, fine, if they're going for a fine art degree perhaps show some work where they've been influenced by a famous fine artist, whether it's a Korean or world fine artist. And the same for film. They show a short film clip, but they say how they were influenced. It shows that they've got a, a broad knowledge of the subject and they're very excited about coming to study that.